grandparents, special friends, and anyone else that doesn't meet that criteria. How are we all? Good. Okay, we are going to come to our primary school Christmas concert now. And we're going to have an awesome time watching, listening, singing along and doing some dancing. We are going to start with our wonderful year sixes. So I'm going to hand over to Mrs Blackburn to introduce them. All right, this is a snapshot of our year sixes here. Count the times I've called your name some broken night And you showed up and patched me up like you do every time I get amnesia I forget that you keep coming around Yeah, ain't no way you ever let me down Good God Almighty I hope you find me Praising your name Mr. Hodges and I have felt very blessed to teach this amazing group of Year Sixes this year, and they are going to perform Oh What a Glorious Night for you. Lights, please. And there were in the same country shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. The glory of the Lord shall round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God. And saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. came to see the baby stood by his mother's side here lay the savior inside a manger oh what a glorious night oh what a glorious night i hear the angels
king is sleeping oh what a glorious night oh what a glorious night thank you year six you can go back now year fives can we welcome you up please roll down the windows let your cares fly away This is a new day Everything bursting
Thank you, Year 5. All right, Year 4s, we would like to welcome you up now. Just one. 
Three students are going to perform Felice Navidad for you. Feliz Navidad. to those dance moves, year three. Thank you. All right, we're now going to welcome Chappie up. Good morning, boys and girls. How are we today? Hey! Give yourselves a round of applause for all those items. You! All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning to our families and our school community. Uh, thank you for joining us and uh, today for our annual Christmas event here at ACC and I want to take a few moments just to share a, a, just a short devotion uh, today for our Christmas event. The days are drawing near, and uh, how many of you know the countdown has begun? And yes, you've probably gone to your local shops and you've already heard Mariah or Michael Bublé playing in the speakers, and uh, typically that means that the holiday season is just around the corner. And so, you know, our kids are beginning to, uh, you know, work on their, their Christmas wish list what they want for that from toys to the latest iPhone and a combo of AirPods or whatever it is that your child wants as well. But uh, us as parents, boys and girls, us as parents, we tend to stress with last minute shopping and uh, preparation, uh, you know, trying to make sure that the day is going to be set and it's going to be perfect, wondering if we have everything we need. And, you know, there's some homes that, you know, spend hours cooking, baking, making, creating, whatever it is that they do to make Christmas that special time of the year, and while our young ones are, you know, pumped up on sugar and hyped on adrenaline, they never get any sleep, and, uh, you know, typically that's Christmas for us as parents, but it's a reminder that we have come to the end of the year, a reminder that Christmas is coming, and although there are many who are excited and elated about the Christmas season coming, and although there are many who are waiting with such expectation, with anticipation, there are some who perhaps are struggling to feel a bit festive this year. For some people, Christmas can be daunting. Christmas can be stressful. For some families, Christmas can be demanding. It can be an anxious and tense time. Because maybe perhaps the year 2020 was a difficult one. Maybe perhaps this year was filled with challenges, filled with the unexpected. And we get to this time of year, and for some people, Christmas is a reminder of the year that was. And perhaps, maybe you're here this morning, whether it's you as a student or whether it's you as mom and dad, you as the grandmother, grandfather, grandparent. And maybe perhaps this is how you're thinking or how you're feeling. Maybe perhaps this has been your experience or this is a picture of your journey. Then I believe wholeheartedly that the true message of Christmas can also offer you and I hope and comfort in these times as well. I wanna read a passage from the Bible in the New Testament. It's in the book of Matthew chapter 
Matthew chapter 1 this morning out of uh, verse 21 and 23. I think I've got that on the slides there. And listen to what the Bible says. It says, she being Mary will bear us a son. You shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. And we've heard already some songs from some of our students from our upper primary cohort of, uh, you know, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day save the nations? The Christmas story this morning is about the birth of Christ. And this story carries with it so much meaning because it's the fulfillment of an ancient prophecy in Israel's history that happened exactly as it was foretold that it would. And to the people of Israel, this was a sign, and a sign unlike any other. It was a sign to this people that God was present. It was a sign to the people of Israel that God was working, a sign that the people who were facing oppression, people who felt trapped in their circumstances would find freedom and deliverance at last, that they would know peace. And to the people of Israel, it was a reminder that God had not abandoned them. It was a reminder that God had not forsaken them, that He is Emmanuel, God with us. And the birth of Christ is a reminder to you and I this morning of the promises of God. It's a reminder of the plans of God, that Christ came to the earth to rescue people from their sins. Jesus himself, he quoted from an ancient text and he declared that this was his reason for coming. And it says in the book of Luke chapter four, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Christmas is the acknowledgement and celebration of the birth of Christ. It's the reason for the season that Jesus came to save us. He came to redeem you and I, that through him we can experience a peace that surpasses all understanding that through him, you and I can obtain what we call a living hope in the midst of our trials, a hope that is alive, a hope that never fades. And it doesn't matter your story, it doesn't matter your background, your culture, or your situation. Christmas, it's a reminder to us of God's unfailing and unconditional love towards us. It's a reminder that God is present. Even when we don't see him working, he's working. It's a reminder that through him that there is freedom and forgiveness, that in him there is power. And it's this same Jesus that is still reaching, impacting, healing, transforming, and renewing lives to this very day. And I believe this is why Christmas is so special. Because the true meaning of Christmas is centered in hope. The true meaning of Christmas is grounded in joy. The famous text in the book of John, chapter three, verse 16, it says, for God so loved the world, for God so loved you, that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that in order that the world might be saved through him. And I love Christmas because it says in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for by grace you and I have been saved through faith and this is not of your own doing. And it says this, it is the gift of God. Boys and girls, parents, family, friends, Jesus Christ is God's gift to humanity. Corrie Ten Boone once said this as we begin to enter in so I can, we can pray this morning. Corrie Ten Boone said, who can add to Christmas? The perfect motive is that God so loved the world. The perfect gift is that he gave his only son. The only requirement is to believe in him. And the reward of faith is that you shall have everlasting life. I wanna pray for us this morning. And I wanna encourage you that when you wake up on Christmas morning, when you're gearing up for the big day ahead, that you would take some time, even it doesn't matter how long or how short it might be, but take some time to remember this great gift that God presents to you and I 
His name is Jesus. So primary, can I please ask if you can bow your heads and I'd like to pray for us, please. Dear Lord, we thank you, Father, for every student here in our primary cohort. God, I thank you for their parents, their families. And I ask, God, that you would go before each and every one of them. I pray that through this time, God, perhaps maybe there are families or homes that have gone through a pretty rough season this year. I pray that Christmas would be a reminder of the hope that can be found in you, the hope that is accessible in you. I pray that it would be a time of healing. I pray that you would remind us that you are present and you are working in and, in and through our lives. God, I thank you for the future plans that you have in store for our children. And I pray that you would arrest the hearts of these young children, set them on a path that leads to you, that leads to your plans and purposes, that you would protect them, that you would prosper them, that you would grant them success in all that they do. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, guys. I'd like to hand it back to Mrs. Blackburn. Uh, Miss Blackburn, as she comes. Can we make her feel welcome, please? Oh, Miss Sue, sorry. <laughs> All right, we're going to have year two performance on that very first Christmas, and we'll watch their cohort video. The baby 
baby Jesus born that night. The wise men come to worship him. The shepherds go, but the king is born. The angels sing in glory to God. On that very first Christmas. Oh, well done, Year Twos. We're going to have the Year Ones now, and they're going to perform special delivery. I want to bear fruit.
Well done, grade ones. Now we're going to have our preppies. And they're going to sing Christ the King of Christmas. Here and now. And loves to hear God's word Pray that as you grow up That's just how you will be Standing tall for Jesus Like a Christmas tree Let your love show ho, ho. Let your faith grow ho, ho. That everyone will know Christ the King of Christmas Well let the fairy lights Remind you of that bright Shining star Spotted by the wise men who travelled from afar They gave Jesus all their treasures and they worshipped him that night Let your worship of King Jesus shine like fairy lights Let your love show ho ho, let your faith ho 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 Let everyone will know Christ the King of Christmas Well let the candy cane remind you of God's amazing grace Spread the blood of Jesus as he suffered in our place. Wipe the full forgiveness one as Jesus rose again. You can tell your friends the gospel with a candy cane. Let your love show ho ho, let your faith grow ho ho. Let everyone will know Christ the King of Christmas. Well, let all the gifts at Christmas time fill your heart with praise. God for all his goodness shown in all so many ways That every day in every way would be completely his Give your life to Jesus as a Christmas gift Let your love show ho ho, let your faith grow ho ho That everyone will know Let your love show ho ho, let your faith grow ho ho That everyone will know Christ the King of Christmas give you a few housekeeping things on how we're going to move off from here. So let's just all bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this amazing time of year. Not only a time of celebration of Christmas, but the special time of the celebration of your Lord Jesus Christ coming to earth. Please be with every child, every family at ACCM as they go away now for holidays and um, spend some time with their families and having fun. In Jesus' name we all say... All right, thank you everybody, Merry Christmas.